Hey everyone, welcome back to HTech, your go-to channel for everything tech. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that every Windows user has faced at some point, and honestly, most of us are frustrated by it, forced updates. You know that moment when you're in the middle of an important task, maybe editing a video, presenting in a meeting, or even just watching a movie, and suddenly, Windows decides it's time to update right now, whether you like it or not. But here's the thing. These updates, Dan T, just cost you time or patience. They might actually be costing you money, productivity, and even control over your own computer. So let us pull back the curtain and look at the real costs behind. Microsoft S forced update strategy on Windows 11. We all know updates are supposed to make our system safer and faster. But what if I told you that those updates sometimes do the exact opposite? Think about it. You're working on an urgent document or rendering a project, and suddenly your PC freezes, restarts, and then starts that dreaded installing updates, 0% complete screen. You wait, you sigh, and by the time your desktop finally loads, your flow and maybe your deadline is gone. For businesses, that downtime means lost productivity. For freelancers, it can mean missed client deadlines. It's not just a small annoyance. It's real time lost, time that no one's paying you back for. And that's just the beginning. After the update finishes, things don't always return to normal. It's maybe a piece of software that worked perfectly yesterday suddenly won't open. A driver breaks. An older application starts crashing. You spend hours troubleshooting, reinstalling, maybe even rolling back the update if Windows lets you. Imagine the frustration of discovering your critical work tools no longer function because Microsoft decided your PC needed a security improvement. The irony is, many users end up less secure when they start disabling protections or avoiding updates altogether just to keep their system stable. But the hidden costs don't stop at your time. Let's talk about your hardware. Many users with slightly older PCs notice that every major Windows 11 update seems to make their system slower, heavier, and more demanding. It's like your hardware is being pushed toward obsolescence on purpose. The more features and background processes Microsoft adds, the more strain it puts on older processors, RAM, and storage. Eventually, performance drops to the point where upgrading seems like the only option. And what's the result? You spend hundreds of dollars replacing a perfectly good machine that worked fine before those updates started piling up. Printers, scanners, specialized devices. After an update, some of them just stop working. You download new drivers, search through forums, maybe even contact support, and sometimes nothing works. That's when people start replacing perfectly functional devices, adding another hidden cost to Microsoft's so-called free updates. And then there's power usage new background tasks and AI-based features running all the time may seem minor, but over months and years, that translates to higher electricity bills for always-on devices, especially in workplaces. Now let's talk about another hidden factor, data. Every Windows update is massive. Gigabytes of downloads, sometimes multiple times a month. For users with unlimited high-speed connections, it might not matter much. But for those in rural areas or using mobile data plans, it's a nightmare. Hitting data caps can lead to overage charges or throttled speeds. Microsoft doesn't ask before it starts downloading. It just happens in the background. On top of that, telemetry the data Microsoft collects from your computer increases after certain updates. More diagnostics, more reports, more anonymous tracking, all taking up your bandwidth and raising privacy concerns. So not only are these updates eating your data, they might also be sending more information than you realize. And even when updates download successfully, they don't always install smoothly. There's always that risk of corrupted files, power interruptions, or compatibility issues that can leave your system half updated, or worse, completely broken. Suddenly you're stuck at a blue screen, trying to recover your system, reinstalling Windows, or paying a technician to fix what a forced update caused. It's frustrating because this ISNT user error, it asks the price of Microsoft, its decision to take control away from the user, and that brings us to one of the biggest contradictions in the entire system. Security. Microsoft. Microsoft always frames forced updates as being for your protection. But what if those very updates are the reason your security is compromised? There have been countless cases where a patch intended to fix one vulnerability accidentally opened another, or caused antivirus programs to malfunction, leaving users exposed. And when that happens, rolling back isn't easy. In some builds of Windows 11, users find that they can't even uninstall certain updates. 
It's like being trapped in an unstable version of your own operating system, hoping the next patch fixes what the last one broke. Now let's talk about control, or rather, the lack of it. Back in the day, you could choose when and what to update. You had power over your system. Today, that freedom has mostly disappeared. Sure, you can delay updates temporarily, but eventually Windows will do what it wants. This forced compliance makes users feel like they don't really own their PCs anymore. They just rent them, operating under Microsoft's rules and schedule. You can't choose to skip an update even if it's known to cause issues, and you can't decide to update only the components you actually need. It's all or nothing, and for many. That loss of autonomy is the most frustrating cost of all. This strategy also raises a bigger question. What does the future of computing look like if we keep heading in this direction? Are we moving toward a world where operating systems no longer belong to us, but to corporations who decide when our devices update, what features we get, and what data we share? It's a thought worth considering, especially as more people start looking toward alternatives like Linux or Mac OS, where users still have more control over their systems. At the end of the day, Microsoft's forced update strategy might look harmless on the surface after all. It's all in the name of security and improvement. But for millions of users, those updates come with a price. Lost time, broken software, wasted bandwidth, higher bills, and the growing feeling that your computer isn't really yours anymore. Maybe the question ISNT whether updates are necessary. They are, but whether they should be mandatory, automatic, and unstoppable. So, the next time Windows pops up with that message, your system needs to restart to finish installing updates, think about what that really means. It's not just a reboot. It's a reminder of how much control we've quietly handed over. And if enough users start asking questions and demanding choice, maybe, just maybe, Microsoft will start listening. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you've ever lost work or time because of a Windows update, share your experience in the comments below. I'd love to hear your story. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to HTech for more honest tech insights, and hit that bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Until then, take care, stay productive, and keep your system truly yours.